Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Kansas City Royals franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA Northwest Arkansas up to AAA Omaha. Last time we were in AA to go over starting pitching prospect Foster Griffin, and that was still in 2018. And now for the first Prospect Profile of 2019, we are in Omaha to go over Richard Rose. Richard Rose is a second baseman. He can also play third and short, but he is best suited to play second base. He is a right-handed bat, right-handed throw. He stands six foot one, 195 pounds. He is 22 years old from the state of Texas. And Richard Rose is one of those guys who a CPU team drafted and then just didn't sign for whatever reason. So we signed him in the offseason to like a one year, like $80,000 deal just to be in our minor league system. And he's a rookie in our system now because the team that drafted him did not sign him. There's always multiple of those guys every year in free agency. And it's pretty easy to get a decent amount of these guys. I try not to go overboard on signing these guys because like I said, there's a lot of them in free agent classes and you can really build a solid team just out of these guys so I try not to go too overboard on these guys but I did sign Richard Rose. As far as Rose's attributes go he is already a 75 overall he is only a C potential though but he does have the ability to bump that up to a B if he does play well but even as it stands right now the guy is major league ready he's probably the most major league ready prospect we have in our system He's already got 68 and 69 contacts, so that's already at a major league level. His con his power is 41 and 42, so both ways pretty solid. Uh, he's not going to be hitting out there 30, 40 home runs, but the guy can hit 10 to 15 home runs in a 162 game season. That's not out of his reach. 15 is probably like the most realistic or the most like what you want to shoot for with him, but 10 I would take that too. But he's not a power hitter. You expect this guy to get on base a lot. You expect this guy to hit for average and hit a lot of doubles. But he's not a guy who's going to hit, like like I said, 30, 40 home runs. And then speaking of being able to get on base, his what I call plate skills are definitely pretty good. They're not the best, but they're definitely pretty good. He's got 60 vision, 56 discipline. So he's being able to barrel on ball his vision and he's going to be able to draw a few walks and have a high obp with his discipline and like i said that's just going to keep going up the better he plays he's also very durable and durability is sometimes an issue with these guys who the cpu doesn't sign sometimes they'll have like 40 durability and they'll just be constantly injured left and right but richard rose not that kind of guy he is very durable 83 durability don't have to worry about him missing games left and right and then as far as the defensive side of things go for him, he is a good glove, great reflexes, and a so-so arm, which is why he's best suited for second base. He's got 65 fielding, so he can make the plays. He's got 82 reactions, so he's able to get the balls quite... He's able to move left to right quite well. He's, he's not going to be getting balls by him constantly. He's, he's sort of like Raul, or Alberto Mondesi in that regards, where he's got a good glove, but he's got great reactions. But then his arm is kind of not really the greatest. It's 54 arm strength, which isn't too bad, but then a 41 arm accuracy. So that's, that's pretty bad. You don't want an accuracy that low. So he is best suited as a second baseman. And I don't really have any plans to move him anywhere else. It's just he can play third and short if he needs to. He's also, quite surprisingly, a decent base stealer. He's only got 54 speed, so he's not the fastest guy out there, but he does have 70 stealing, so he's quite a good base runner. He knows when to steal, he knows how to steal, he knows when to jump, he knows how to read pitchers, and that part of his game is pretty pretty solid. So he could be a guy who steals 20, 30 bags at the Major League level, but, I mean, we're not going to really... That's not like the main reason why we want Richard Burroughs at the big league level eventually, but it would be a plus if he could do that. And now having Rose in our organization, having him come up through the pipeline, opens up that second base spot. Because as we all know, our second baseman right now is Whit Merrifield. He had an end of 2018 that was definitely way better than his beginning, but he is a 30-year-old. He's not going to be here forever. He's not going to be at his prime forever. And Richard Rose is 22 years old. He's already a solid bat and a solid defender, and he can steal bases. So Richard Rose is already a pretty darn good player. And if with Merrifield, with Richard Rose being in our organization, it opens up a, an opportunity for us to either trade Merrifield at the deadline if our team is not doing well. But if our team is doing well, then I would probably say it's very likely that Whit Merrifield gets traded in the offseason. Uh, 
I mean, I know he does have arbitration, but I would probably do is sign Merrifield to like a deal or something and then trade him so the other team could get his years of service as well. But uh, Richard Rose, he is probably going to be our starting second baseman in the 2020 season, which is season three. And then also before we wrap up this episode, just a quick little note about Richard Rose. Does he not look exactly like Method Man? For those of you who are not fans of Wu-Tang Clan or just not fans of Method Man in general or don't know who Method Man is, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, his he's on the screen right now. Richard Rose on the left, Method Man on the right. Are they not are they not like related? I mean, Richard Rose is from Texas. He's 22, so I mean, who knows? Maybe Method Man was was on tour in Texas sometime in the 90s, met a lady. You know, something's possible. You never know. But with that being said, that is going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Prospect Profile. Richard Rose, second baseman, currently with the Omaha Storm Chasers. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. M-E-T-H-O-D, man. Hey, you, get up.